Welcome to Crypto Zoltan. Could Singularity Net be the key to unlocking a new era of AI innovation, breaking free from corporate dominance and ushering in a decentralized hive mind of unparalleled possibilities? In a world where artificial intelligence is often locked within the shadowy confines of corporate control, a revolutionary shift could quite possibly be on the horizon. Singularity Net is posturing itself as a beacon of change poised as a pioneering platform merging blockchain and AI, gunning to challenge the norms and disrupt the established order. As this groundbreaking force gains momentum, it poses a compelling question. Could Singularity Net be the catalyst for a paradigm shift in the AI landscape? Before we get into this exciting video, I wanna be clear and let you know that this video is not sponsored. In fact, I don't even own any of the AGIX token and I have no connection to the team. I'm creating this video because I believe this project is worth exploring and I hope it ignites you to have genuine discussion and curiosity around its potential. This video is for entertainment purposes and debate. Let's not waste time and jump straight into the details. For those of you who don't know, SingularityNet is an AI and big data crypto play that was originally built on the backbone of Ethereum. In May 2021, it began the process of migrating over to the Cardano blockchain. The project leverages a proof of reputation consensus, meaning that it prioritizes trusted actors with good standing in the network to verify transactions and secure the blockchain. So what's the big problem SingularityNet is trying to solve? In the simplest elevator pitch I could come up with is that the project aims to further develop an open artificial general intelligence without its advancement relying on any one central entity or adhering to any individual goal. This is done by leveraging a high value marketplace that streamlines deployment and monetization for developers and helps solve problems through AI innovation for individuals and businesses. Additionally, the project fosters collaboration and interoperability of programs through its powerful network effects from its own marketplace. Singularity Net was launched back in December of 2017 by Dr. Ben Gertzel, Simone Gia Comelli, and Dr. David Hansen. So why does this matter to you? One of the things we should always look at when evaluating a crypto project is the team. These are some real heavy hitting individuals. In my opinion, given their track record and experience, they give the project true weight and validity. I don't think anyone would argue that Dr. Ben Gertzel is not a central figure when we are discussing AI innovation and advancement. If you want to know more about him and his thought process, I highly recommend checking out his appearance on episode 1211 of the Joe Rogan Experience or episode 103 of the Lex Friedman podcast. Now, normally I'd go into depth reviewing the website to gauge a project's legitimacy to make sure it's not some sketchy or some type of copy and paste template garbage. But considering this project's growth and development since 2017, It's safe to say that I don't think it's going to be a fly-by-night rug pull. They're actively progressing and hitting new milestones, so definitely explore their Medium page for their latest updates and especially their recap post of 2023. Also check out the website for a deeper dive on the resources that are found there. The white paper is easily accessible through the CoinMarketCap link and has plenty of information to dissect. Feel free to drop a comment if you want a detailed video on something specific. Now, for some fun speculation. Let's talk about the AGIX token. Is it really worth anything to us? There are a couple of questions we need to answer to find out. Let's check out CoinMarketCap and see what we're working with. If we look at the chart, we can see we aren't at all-time highs, but we aren't at the lowest of lows either. What's nice here is that there's actually some price movement in the project, and it's not just the giant flat line. If you believe in the project and believe that the AI narrative might be the hyped up conversation around crypto in 2024, then maybe Singularity Net might be something you want to speculate on. There is a max supply of 2 billion tokens and over 50% of them are, are in circulation with a fully diluted market cap of $596 million at the time of this video. If we do a little math, taking the market cap and dividing it by the total holders, we're looking at about $7,600 per holder. This at least means that this project isn't valued more than Bitcoin, which is good when we look at the market cap versus holders. In my opinion, I think Bitcoin is the quote unquote sun that all these other cryptos tend to revolve around. If we dig a little further into the holders, we see the token allocation is pretty well distributed and there is a good amount of exchanges holding the token. 
This makes sense as we could see it on Binance, Gate.io, HTX, and KuCoin. It sucks that at this point, we probably shouldn't expect to ride a new wave of price action due to major listings unless we end up getting listed on Coinbase during the bull run, for example. But no one can predict the future and if that will actually happen. The good thing though, is that the token is actually listed on a few reputable exchanges, which further bring confidence in the token in my opinion. I do wanna mention though, that some people do bring up complaints of the token being a bit too centralized and whale heavy due to the amount of tokens held on some of these centralized exchanges. The token serves multiple pivotal roles within the network. It is used to facilitate transactions and incentivizes contributors with rewards, thus fostering further network engagement. Beyond that, it wields influence in governance and staking to help fortify and support the network. In November, staking was introduced on the Cardano blockchain, only furthering the advancement of the project, in my opinion. If you've seen my other videos, one, I want to say thank you, and I truly appreciate you supporting my channel. You know that I think one of the most important things a crypto project must have is an active and engaged social media and community. If it's a ghost town, or the engagement doesn't match up to the follower count, then you should be raising some red flags. Also, if no one cares what the project is doing, I feel like it's going to be a real uphill battle. Looking at X, we see their handle has over 129,000 followers, and they actively tweet and get okay engagement metrics metrics compared to their follower count. The project also has a Discord, though I don't really like how you have to verify, and I think it might hinder or confuse people and turn them away from joining the server. The Telegram channel, however, is filled with tons of engagement. With responsive moderators and an active community, it's definitely the go-to hub for any immediate answers. It's definitely anything but a ghost town. It's a prime source for staying current with the project's latest updates and a good gauge for the sentiment of the community. Dr. Ben Gertzel also is quite a prominent name in the AI space, and you could see him on a ton of podcasts, conferences, and YouTube videos, both in long form and short form content. I believe having someone like this associated with the project really helps move the needle in outside interest. Let's take off the rose colored glasses for a second and talk about some of the potential hurdles and downsides Singularity Net may face. For one, the future is uncertain, and while Singularity Net may have a great idea, it doesn't mean that at the end, they will be the victor. There were a ton of different search engines in the earlier days of the internet, but at the end of the day, there was only one, Google. Is Singularity Net going to be as powerful in the AI space as, let's say, a Google? Only time will tell, and if anyone says that they know with absolute certainty, I would really question them. In my opinion, the project has a good framework to be successful, but let's be real, shit happens, especially in crypto. Singularity Net is not immune to some catastrophic event happening which causes a loss in value, functionality, or positive community sentiment. For example, the KuCoin hack in 2020 where 43 million AGI tokens were stolen. That event led to a series of decisions that could have had, in my opinion, some real negative consequences. Luckily, the Singularity Net Council and executive team stayed true to their mission to decentralization and democracy and ultimately made wise choices to address the incident. If we are talking about blockchain technology, if I understand correctly, the project only really uses a portion of its process on chain with the actual AI processing transactional data happening off chain. I think this is for various reasons with one being the transaction speed is not up to snuff when utilizing the blockchain. This falls in line with complaints about Ethereum but I'm not sure if now with the implementation of Cardano, if there will be more blockchain technology utilized. Finally, since they are building a marketplace, Singularity Net will rely on adoption. This means that they will need to attract developers, businesses, and individuals looking to utilize their services for AI solutions, and they will also need to have the buy-in from the overall community on why they will do it better than centralized competition out there currently. And let's be real, we know that the centralized competition has a lot of cash flowing at them from all different directions. As we look to the future of Singularity Net, the potential is definitely immense. It stands at a critical juncture where it's vision of democratizing AI could truly unfold. The migration to the Cardano blockchain opens up doors to enhance scalability and efficiency, potentially addressing prior concerns about transaction speed and blockchain utilization. The introduction of staking on Cardano further fortifies the project's ecosystem, fostering a stronger foundation for growth. However, challenges definitely loom on their horizon. 
Despite its robust framework, the project isn't impervious to market fluctuations or unforeseen events. Its success hinges on widespread adoption, attracting developers, businesses, and community buy-in to stand out amidst centralized competition. The road ahead demands strategic alliances, continual innovation, and navigating potential technological hurdles. Okay, so in conclusion, SingularityNet emerges as a promising force in reshaping the AI landscape. It isn't merely about technological advancements, it's about democratizing access to AI, challenging centralized norms, and fostering a collaborative ecosystem. The journey ahead is rife with potential and uncertainties, but its steadfast commitment to decentralization and innovation fuels hope for a future where AI is accessible to all. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of Singularity Net. Remember, while I don't have a crystal ball, I encourage you to conduct your research and form your opinion. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on Singularity Net and if you'd like a deeper dive to any specific aspect of this project. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment below and let me know and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more great crypto content. I truly thank you all for the support. Until next time, thanks for watching Crypto Zoltan.